So I have some dad jokes worked into this one too. Keep so testing. The contentious issue of the glass nerd world. We're going to crack the case of this hotly debated issue. Now, I don't know if it's really hotly debated to be fair. No, anyway, I don't, I actually don't know if it's hotly debated or not, but it is a little bit of a contentious issue. But anyways, heat soak testing is actually a pretty cool method to test for spontaneous breakage. Just like diamonds, glass can sometimes have these little inclusions, little specks of things you don't really want there. And unlike diamonds, you can't really see these inclusions and they don't really have any bearing on the visual quality of the glass in general. These little guys are called nickel sulfide inclusions and they're about 60 to 500 microns or 0.002 inches to 0.02 inches in size. They're introduced in the actual float process. All is well at this stage because the glass is soft enough to absorb any changes from these tiny particles and their size. But tempering is different. Put simply, the state and size of nickel sulfide inclusions, otherwise known as NIS inclusions, change in the high heat environment. And when cooled quickly or quenched, the glass solidifies, which is what we want, but the NIS doesn't have enough time to revert back to its low temperature state, so its original size essentially. Thus, over time, this microscopic particle it wants to expand back to its original size or its original state. This can cause immense pressure within the glass and eventual breakage, just from this tiny little microscopic thing. So it could be minutes, could be days, could be years, could be decades, and sometimes it can be never. Heat soak testing provides an insurance policy. This method involves putting the glass into an oven and baking it for a couple of hours at a predetermined temperature. This encourages all those nickel sulfide inclusions present to react. And the glass will break, which kind of sucks, but at least it's safely inside the container. And we get asked all the time, can you guarantee against breakage if we perform the HSD cycle? And the truth is, for us and every other fabricator out there, no. No, we can't guarantee. Imagine not knowing the size, dimension, placement, state, and whether an NIS particle is even there. The likelihood of the test to react to NIS is high, but having zero information at the onset really yields the same amount of information on the other side. All glass contains some level of NIS. For the low price of HSTing it, it's a no-brainer to test if breakage risk will be an issue. 